In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite recipes that I've ever made. It's a tandoori monkfish with a tomato, fennel, and red onion salad, burnt lime, and coriander yogurt. What's really nice about this dish is the character that the monkfish gives to it being cooked on the bone. It gives it a lovely sort of meatiness, lots of lovely textures, and then the whole thing's refreshed with this crunchy, fresh, herby salad and the cooling coriander yogurt. Finish that off with a burnt lime over the top. I think you're gonna love this one. Let's get going. The first thing we need to do is marinate the monkfish. Um, so we've got some lovely sort of, I think, tandoori spices in the turmeric, uh, cayenne pepper, ground cumin, ground coriander, some Greek style natural yogurt, a little bit of salt, and then here I've got some chopped garlic and ginger. You can do this in a food processor if you want to make it easier. So just but get it quite fine because you don't want too many big chunks of ginger and garlic in the marinade. So what we're gonna do is just add that to the yogurt. Okay. And then we read for this amount, one teaspoon of each of the spices. So that's uh, cumin, coriander, cayenne pepper, and turmeric. A little bit of salt. Just be careful with how much salt you put in there because the salt, if you leave it for a long time, the marinade will cure the fish and massively change the texture of the fish, almost giving you a, like a dry sort of texture, which is not very nice. So just go careful on the salt. You can always put more salt on the fish once you've cooked it. So just mix all that together. And then you take our monkfish, we've got these lovely monkfish steaks that are still on the bone. And then just put the yogurt on. And then just spread the yogurt into the fish. It's nice and messy, this one. Now, once you've got it nice and coated, you can leave this in the fridge for, you know, I would say two hours, but anything up to six hours. If you wanted to leave it longer, so maybe 24 hours or overnight, just make sure you don't put the salt in. Okay, we're gonna put that in the fridge. and leave that for two hours. So the monkfish has now been for two hours in the fridge. So I'm just gonna take it out and I'm just gonna leave it to come to room temperature. And the reason why you do that is it's been in the fridge, it's cold, so the center of that fish, because it's so thick, will be ice cold. We wanna bring the temperature up so that, that when you cook it, you can get the, the actual heat gets right through and it gives you a lovely even cook. We'll put that to one side. Um, and then while we're waiting for that, we'll just make the salad. This salad is really nice. Again, it's one of those salads that you can do quite quickly. Today I'm using red onion, uh, tomato and fennel as the base, but you can use shallots instead of red onions. You can use uh, asparagus, you could use yeah, courgette, cucumber, anything. I think what the essence is, is you've got a lovely piece of fish that's got a bit of heat to it, a bit of kick to it from the spice. So you want something to cool that down and something fresh and crunchy, a completely different texture. And I think because this dish has got that and this salad definitely has got this, it makes it a very exciting dish to eat. So the first thing you need to do is just uh, get the onion as fine as possible. the onion into the bowl. And then I've got a nice bulb of fennel here, which I'm just gonna, again, slice nice and fine. Essentially, any vegetable that you can eat raw will go nicely in this salad. Now 
This is a dish we've cooked on all the menus in all the restaurants that I've run in the last sort of 10 years. It's a, it's a real favourite. We've done it in Dubai, we've done it in London, and we've done it in Cornwall. So it'll, hopefully in your house, you'll cook this recipe and you'll really enjoy that. So half a fennel bulb, just been sliced up. And I've got some plum tomatoes, which I'm just gonna slice into four lengthways. And then again, slice them finely. A little bit more tomato. Okay. All that goes in. And then I've got some spring onions here as well, which has just been washed and trimmed. And I'm just gonna slice them at a slight angle for no other reason than they look good. So this, the idea for this dish really came from my love of Indian cooking. Um, it's, one, it's my favourite sort of um, cuisine to cook at home and also to eat when I go out. Um, and I think it's because I find Indian cuisine so diverse. It's, there's so many different cultures within a culture. You know, there's uh, the ingredients that they use, uh, ingredients that make me feel uncomfortable. And I quite like that because it makes me, it challenges me. Things from Europe I know about, things from India and Asia I don't. So it's a challenge that either when I'm eating out to try new things or a challenge for when I'm cooking at home. So this sort of dish came from the love of the tandoori oven and then sort of seeing things cooked in that. And I thought, well, it would be nice to really, you know, spice up something like a monkfish that cooks perfectly under the grill or even better on a barbecue. Um, and then sort of like, you know, it showcases those flavors really. And it smells wonderful when you cook it. So also into the salad, we've got some uh, coriander. And don't worry about the, the stalks too much. You know, the, there's some woodier stalks, but if you can get a few of the smaller stalks, that's fine. There's lots of flavor in there. And then a little bit of mint as well. What these herbs bring to this dish is that, is that sort of freshness. You know, the lovely smells, they really bring everything together. You've got that sort of spiciness from the fish um, and the marinade, and then you, this sort of all cools you down and it sort of, uh, it brings everything together. So just chop through them roughly. They don't need to be fine. It's nice to see the pieces of coriander and the mint in the salad. I said this is a great dish for a barbecue and a sunny, a hot sunny day because this salad actually benefits from being left for a little while. So you know what we what we usually do is leave this out on the side and let it sort of come to temperature under the sun. And it's you know the tomatoes, the flavour comes out of it. You know the onions start to sort of get them lovely smells in there as well. And what's different about this salad is you add the salt to it like you would do with any any salad and a little bit of pepper, which we always see, but nice thing is you add some cumin to it, which is not what you usually see in a salad. And it brings something a little bit special to it and also a little bit of cayenne as well. And that gives it a bit of a kick. So usually with a salad, you say, don't put the dressing onto it until the final sort of, you know, sort of, sort of final thing that you do. But with this one, you want to dress it beforehand. You almost want it to start to wilt down a little bit. So what I've got here is some, what I've got here is some red wine vinegar. A couple of spoonfuls of that. And the very un-Indian ingredient, but it, I think it works, is a little bit of olive oil. Let's mix the whole thing together. 
It's a wonderful colour as well. That's, that's the thing, you know, people eat with their eyes. You've got the lovely sort of red tomato, the, uh, the red purple onions and the sort of green fresh herbs. And then you've got this lovely turmeric cumin colour that's going to come from when you grill this under the grill. So this has been out for a while now just to come to temperature. So just lift it out of the marinade. Onto a grilled tray. As you remember before when I started to marinate, I didn't put much salt on it. So I'm gonna put a little bit more salt on it now. And the reason why we don't salt it in the first place is just the texture changes too much and actually goes a bit strange. So, you know, be careful with the amount of salt you put on at the beginning. And then just a little bit of oil over the top. Give it a bit of a mix. And then that's ready to go under the grill. I've preheated the grill to very hot. You almost want to blister the fish so it gives you that sort of appearance of being cooked in the tandoori oven. So I'm gonna put it under the grill now. It'll take around eight to 10 minutes in total. Whilst that's cooking, we can just make the coriander yogurt. So again, I've got here just some Greek style yogurt. You can use natural yogurt if you want. It's still gonna do the same thing. The whole point of this as an accompaniment to the dish is really to tone everything down. Some people don't like lots of spice, so this is perfect. It's just gonna bring everything down. It's not massively hot, this dish. And if you wanted to and you didn't like the chili, just take it out of the marinade at the beginning. But if you're like me and you like a bit of heat, I'll probably put a bit extra in there. So just gonna add simply some chopped coriander to the yogurt with a little bit of the seasoning, salt and pepper, and then a touch of cumin in there as well. So because this is, this is gonna go into the yogurt, you wanna chop this a little bit finer than what we've done in the salad. Because otherwise it will just clump up and you'll get you know, one big lump of coriander. So the smaller it is, the easier it is just to mix through. And that goes into the yogurt. So this sort of dish, if I wanted to do some side dishes to go with it, I think what would be really nice is like a coconut rice. You know, so make, if you're making like a simple boiled rice, instead of using water, just use some coconut milk and maybe finish it with some crispy shallots on top. That's lovely with this dish. Um, you know, say, failing that, it was a really good dish to basically take a bigger monkfish tail, cook it whole, get yourself some really nice naan breads, and then put the salad on top of the naan bread, you know, put the monkfish in there, the yogurt on top, and roll the whole thing up. That is delicious. So just to finish off this yogurt, we're gonna add a little bit of salt, and then a little bit of cumin as well, just a touch. And then we're gonna mix it all together. If you wanted to, you could add some you know, cucumber into that. You could add uh, some mint in there as well. You know, Basil, it's all gonna work. It's just really just something to, to cool everything down and to bring the whole dish together. So that's that. So we got our salad and our yogurt. The next thing we're gonna do is just to grill a lime. If you're gonna do this on a barbecue outside, you can take your lime and you can put it on over the charcoal and you can grill it straight on there. But we're gonna do it in a pan. So just cut the lime in half, trim the ends off. And the reason why you trim the ends off is because it will sit and won't roll away. If you leave it on there, it's just gonna roll everywhere. And then we're gonna take a little bit of oil. And this pan's on a medium heat. And then just face, slice down, and put that straight into the pan and let that sort of uh, color away slowly. And what we're trying to get is a nice caramelized 
sort of lime and then the sugars that are in the lime will start to caramelize and you get a completely different sort of taste to what you'd normally get with fresh lime. So I'm just gonna leave the limes in there just to color. They'll take about three or four minutes. I'm not looking for them to burn, just sort of like so you get a nice caramelized edge. And then the fish now should be another four or five minutes and then we'll be ready to plate. Okay, so the fish is now ready. So it's been cooking for about 10 minutes. Lovely. It smells wonderful. It's a shame you can't smell it, but it is good. Now the best way to test where it's cooked is to get yourself a nice sharp knife and you got it on the bone there and just at the thickest point, hold it there for about 10 seconds. And then what you're looking at, just put it on the side of your hand. You want it to be warm. Okay, if it's warm, and I say warm, it's like above blood temperature, then it's gonna be fine. By the time you sort of plated everything else up and you've got everything else ready in your kitchen, this will just have a time to rest and just to sort of calm down. The best thing to do is leave this for five minutes just to, just to chill out. So we're just gonna plate up the rest of the dish. So the salad that we already did is now been marinating as well. Try and get yourself a nice equal mixture of all the ingredients that are in there. The fennel, the tomato, the red onion. Okay. And then on the side, we've got a little bit of the, the yogurt. And then finally, we got our monkfish. Make sure you get a little bit of that juice from the monkfish that's left behind, all that flavor. And then the last thing we're gonna put on there is one of these lovely burnt limes. And there you have it. That's my tandoori monkfish, cooked on the bone, with a tomato, fennel and red onion salad, burnt lime and coriander yoghurt. <laughs>